She knows you're there, Dave. Feed me. You just chased her away. It's pretty old. You can see. The earthquake this morning did some obvious damage to the hammock. But the hillside still looks okay. A little frosty. Sweeping out to the west of the ranchette. You can see a uh, corner of the house coming into view. Yeah, Grecian columns there. I'm not sure if the Ionic Doric, uh, I think they're some kind of bric-a-brac. Here's the uh, rotating antenna. Brings in two fuzzy channels. And the uh, two-car garage and two cars. Corner of the house. Remember our taller fir trees. And this is the septic field over there. Bit of an odor on rainy days. And the sun coming up through the fog is kind of pretty. The frosty trees. And some of the fellow's handiwork here, making his property attractive. He slashed through all these trees here, piled them up and left them. $78,000 for that, the honor of cutting through that brush pile. And then another down yonder. So you see it kind of makes a turn. It's probably all told up in here, this road Jesse's on. About 200 yards or so and turns around down in there. And then the house site that he's cleared, sitting a little bit down in that little flat spot in there in the distance looking out. So all told, it's about eight and a half acres dropping back off that hillside, running parallel to a triangular sliver of ours. All, of course, was one nice piece at one time, until these country wheeler dealers decided it would make more profit to cut it up. But it really hasn't turned out that way yet. Only time will tell. It's a nice field in here stretching out and back towards the house over there. And that would make a real nice addition and garden and workshop spot in here. It's where the trailer was. There's electric just the other side of that tree and water. A little septic field. Oh well, we'll see. Stay tuned on that one. And we'll have to swing back around here in a minute. We'll just give you one more pan of the whole deal. And then a pretty sight.
and back out the road back to the main drag and walking towards the west the sun would set on the day of our first earthquake in the northwest 5.4 on the Richter scale 5.30 in the morning thought Jesse was scratching his fleas oh, anticlimactic after waiting for all those years to feel one but I guess it's for the best. And by the time we get back to where we started, fog should have burned off. Let's see if we get that nice colors of spring morning here on the 25th of March, 1993. And I hear the pup coming into view. There he is. Nice and muddy. And there's our ducks. Alright. You see them? Oh, aren't they pretty? Let's see if we can do a little zoom trick. Yeah, that's the ticket. Oh, look at that. Swimming around. See if we can find them here. There they are. See him? Try that again. There they are. Oh, it's a nature scene. The ducks, the dog, the pond. Life is good. And birdies singing in the distance. Oh, there's a real pretty set coming into view. I guess they're a pair, aren't they? There they be. Cattails. Put this one to music, a little George Winston stuff. All right, I guess we better go in. Still foggy off in that distance. Jesse heading for his drink.
There he is. Hey, you Jess. That's okay. Oh, look at that mud. Who's that? Who's that? I interrupted his drink, so he'll have to get one later. It's a secret trail here around the lake and up into the uh, 60 acres of semi-wilderness where the realtors have been uh, thrashing back the forest for five acre parcels somewhere up in there. And as you can see, it's gotten quite lovely out. Nice sunny morning. Sun bursting through the trees on our humble abode. 40413. Let's see if we can do a wipe on that one. higher try that again I like this technique I guess you knew that Ta -da! not bad for first time eh eat your heart out John there is a fisherman that's a videographer videographer what a Tough one that was to say. Maybe that was the problem. Going around a circular drive. Guess I can do laps around here, get myself back in shape. A little logger jogging. Fields in the distance. It's all mine. It's all mine. Well, some of it's raised too, and Little birdies. Oh, that's a pretty shot. Hey, I move him over there. Ta-da! Well, that's all, kitties. 
for today. Sling her on it for a while and put it in a little contemplative music here. And there's our old hammock. Whoops. Wet road. Road work, road work. Survey the earthquake damage from another direction. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Well, there's St. Helens. Just hard to tell, but I'll try and pan over and you can catch a sliver of it over that hillside right between those tall firs, right there in the center. And I'll pan in here. Right in there. I don't know if you can catch it. Let's see if we can balance this. Right up in there. There it is. Right there, Mount St. Helens. Pull back. Oh, what a sight. Do a little wipe action. Well, that doesn't work. Ta-da! you see it? No, oh, white balance is weird, isn't it? There, I guess that's the best I can get it. Oh, look at that. Really, a close-up. Aha! Mount St. Helens. Hope she stays quiet. All this shaking going on. Oh, that was the fader. Try that again. Fuck. Oh well. Pretty little trees. Hard to stop. Light's so pretty. Up. What's this? Could it be? Yes, it is. A Wilson one. Laying right there. I guess that's the place for the tennis court. Ta da da da. And see if we can pull back and get the old house in the sun here. 
super wide angle of what's happening. Let's find out. Oh, too close. Go the other way. Oh, that didn't work. Guess that's as wide as we can get. Well, there you got the whole thing in. If I back up anymore, I'm going to drop out of sight over the hillside. Yeah, there's it. The porch on the left. Upstairs bedroom. Wood. Garage slash shop. Grecian pillars. Entranceway. Fireplace. Rotating antenna, new roof, two bedrooms here, one on the opposite side, and the circular drive. One more wipe. And onto the hammock or fade out. That's all. There she is in all her glory. I don't know why this thing tends to her road going up. Kind of busy right now as you can see. And you get the contrast there. Mount St. Helens. Helens. Farmland around. This is Louisville Highway. I travel this about 12 miles or so from Battleground, which is about 8 miles from my school, and about this spot here, probably about 20 miles from Portland. It's that Muscovy on the right. Two of them. Cute, ain't they? Well, some people might think so. Ray thinks so. Sorry, all the shaking here. And there's a bunch of little Peking ducks. Just starting to turn white. About twice as big as when we got them a couple of weeks ago. Tasty little morsels, eh? Yeah, we don't want to eat these guys. They're hoping they'll come out of the barn here sometime. And come out this way. Pan back here. They come out this door. And down this walkway. And go around there well. Down our little path here to the road. 
and up right around the barn and there just across our road is a nice little half acre pond and take a little swim but they haven't done that yet only ducks back in there are the wild ones flying in and flying out big egret so let's go back in the barn here see what we could find there's the duckies peeping away and they should get up for us pretty soon Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> they like that. Talking to them. Hey, ducky duckies. There they go. Do, 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 duck race. Old Muscovy's too dignified for that stuff. Well, the Muscovy should move pretty soon, too, though. Come on, little duckies. Get along. Little duckies. Quack, 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 quack. Hmm. And then we'll swing over past our hay uh, storage and in these two stalls. There kayaks above, probably the only ranchers in a thousand miles with kayaks strung across their stalls, but I'm not prepared for anything here. And we'll take a little peek in. See what we can see. Ah, uh, who's this? And who's this? Bah, suba, suba, hey bah. Oh, he's so cute. Hello, little baby. Bah. Closer than you ever wanted to be to a little kid, eh? And the proud mama. These guys are about four weeks old now, about 28 days. And Gora, she's been sheared, so she's got this close little perm do, but it's growing out pretty fast. Little guys actually have probably some more wool than she does. And we'll see if we can catch the other little guy. One's a girl. Aw, ain't they cute? What a proud, proud bunch. Hello, babies. Bah! Now they're real hungry now, so let's see if they'll come on out for us. Here comes goaties. Bah! Hello, babies. Uh-oh, cute as little buttons. Bah! Oh, shaking a tail feather. Saba! Come on, babies. Bah! Here they come. They'll turn right real soon and do a little jumping up towards their hay bale. We'll just watch them here a minute. They're looking for their grain, but it's in the trash can. And no mama. He's saying, I'm hungry. Hungry. Well, I'll put this down and give him some grain, see if that works. Bad. 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 Bad.
got some molasses and oats and barley. Mmm, tasty. Whoa, what do we have here? What do we have here? Oh, she wants to thank you. Look at that. Oh, that is Excuse me, I'll walk in front of you here. Everybody's fed. Doesn't take them long to go through that. And we'll see if we can get these guys out. Cute these little buttons, ain't they? Sibet! Sibet! Jesse has to be locked up in the garage right now. He'll start herding them everywhere. Real curious about him. Just does not know what to make of his urges. Well, Gene's telling him to do something, but he doesn't know what to do. And anyway, most of the time when he sees them, they're in the barn already, so something doesn't make much sense to him. Well, let's see if we get behind these guys now. And they seem to be wanting to go outside on their own. Sibet. 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 Come. I'll put this, uh, maybe I'll pause this a minute because it gets pretty shaky till I get them out. Oh, here they go. Sibet. Go ahead, bye. Uh, hey, into the light of day. 
in the house just across the way. And we'll swing back around and see what the little Pekings are doing. I bet they're eating now. Nope, there they are, way back in the corner. Haven't found their food yet. That little tray there, oh well. Back around here. I'm going to close this barn door, so let me pause this a second. So we're back. So what will these guys do? Now that they're out here. It's a bear. 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 Dropping them little BBs. Let's see if we can make them walk here. Yes, let's come on, little BBs. Bah. Doesn't even want to go graze. Inside goat. And here they go. Da -da -da -da. Here's some nice grass. Yeah, tasty, isn't it? Oh, little flags floating in the air. Got a pretty messy butt there. I'm changing diet since we've had her. About a week now, I guess. Today's Thursday the 15th. Uh-oh, tax man's coming. Better go in and do my taxes. Not much to report after a journey last year, but sure my Uncle Sam wants some of it. Whatever I made. Don't pay him, he'll come and take my goats, so I better get that done. But anyway, we've had them about a week now, and they're still getting used to us and the place. Compared to all the other breeds of goats we've had, these Angoras are very shy. They tend not to be so interested in people as the others are. Keep their distance so far. And they haven't been out much. We had a ton of rain all week since we got them and we sneak them out every now and then but they like to stay real close and if I open that door behind us they'll go flying back in the barn. I'll give them a bunch of hay now but as soon as I get this fencing situation straightened out I'm going to get out a lot more often down below in our fields. This here is all mud from the horses. Fencing is electric right now, two strand, and it was all great for the big horses, but these guys would laugh at it. They need a lot more fencing, otherwise they'll get out. Big project. Another big project. Whoa, a little bouncing goat. Will they climb the ladder? Doubt it. Here's one of our rhododendrons. Oh, you don't eat that. No, no, bad. Get away from our flowers. Hey, hey, hey. I can't trust a goat. And the compost pile. Bah. Let's see if we can swing them around here. I'm going to pause a second. All right, we're back, and they're trying to get back in, but we'll drive them the other way. Gosh, I sure wish I had a good cheap dog for this. <laughs> I get a little too scared of them right now. I got enough to get used to without some crazed Aussie after their butts. But soon enough, that's his job, getting these guys to go where I want them to go. Hey, quite a dance.
Uh oh. Dog in the house. He broke in from the garage. And he's dirty. There he is. Look at the dog in the kitchen. It's not supposed to be there. I locked him up in the garage and he broke into the house. Bad dog. I'm going to shake a finger in him. Bad Jesse. He wants to get those goats in the worst way. Swing back here. chase of the ducks. She's peeling her oats now. Didn't take long. And old Mr. Muscovy goes running around the side. Uh, 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 fake. It was a fake. Bah. Uh, uh, get away from those roadies. Hey. Hey. They're starting to get out there now. Oh, ain't they pretty? Close up. Oh, look at those little horns. Bah! Oh. Bah! Beautiful fur. spring-like out here now. Things are blooming all over. Yeah, they're pretty. The sun would only come out a little bit. Only had two days. It's the third day this month the sun's even appeared. Hey, little birdies. Spring is in the air.
मैं Frisky. Look at him, look at him, look at him. Look at him. Yeah, running back to the barn. I'm getting a whole that rody dendron. I better watch that. I'll get a quick shot of them finally out here in the front. First time. And those are the fields I'd like them being down below. But haven't gotten them there yet. St. Helens just up and above in that ridge there on the clouds. She's going to try and make a break for the right. So if you see me running like a banshee here in a minute, you'll know what's up. Oh, what a cute couple. Here they come. And they push them back. Here they go. Oh. <laughs> we'll pause here for a minute. Let's go, Chase. So, uh, <coughs> shot of the old rainbow here at my school. I don't know how it's going to come out. We'll see.
by Yusun Dua. More in a moment. Major support for Afropop Worldwide comes from National Public Radio member stations and the NPR Cultural Program Fund. Contributors to the fund include Valvoline Oil and Valvoline Instant Oil Change and its franchisees, environmentally conscious providers of motor oil and oil change services, and the Lila Wallace with us. OPB Oregon Public Broadcasting Radio, where you find our Pop Worldwide each Saturday night beginning just past 7 o'clock. Corporate members Pope and Talbot, Precision Cast Parts, and the Foothill Broiler have made major contributions to the Oregon Public Broadcasting Program Fund. Additional funding has been provided by you, the contributing members of OPB.
That was the bumpy ride. Quite a quite a journey, eh? Goes the old farm dog down there on his sunset cruise. Oh, a dump. You know, I think when he's on duty, he doesn't even move from the house. It's like his mission to guard it. So when we left him this morning at about 8.30, he took up post by the door, and I wouldn't doubt it that he hasn't even left that spot, even though he's outside. He's holding in this dump since then. Because he was dry and clean. Now he's off and running and looking for his rabbits. Killed the Easter bunny last week. How do you like that? Easter Sunday. Come back about 7 and holding a little bunny rabbit in his mouth. <laughs> Just tired of them running him, running him into the swamp down there. Well, he's off to it. Probably really a muck now with all this rain today. What a dog. Wild that uh, working dog ethic and he's on duty he can't go out and have a good time can't even take care of his bathroom functions he's got to just stay by that door make sure nothing gets in or nothing gets out pretty evening lots of rain stormy rainbows everything now that mist laying in that valley Raindrops on the trees. Pretty. I'm sure, the batteries are dying or something. You're just crunching down there in the woods. I don't quite see them. Australian Shepherd and a West Virginia Duck Herd. Quite a combination. Da da da. Da 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 da. da. No, not doing such a good job. Lost her behind the tree. There she goes. And the Shepherd. I go back. That's a toggle. It goes back and forth. It's like a cantilever. All right. <laughs> All the time, right? Yeah. No, no, no. You didn't go to that button. You said. Huh? 
You don't need your right hand there once it's rolling. Your right hand can go on the back because there's, there's a handle that you can turn the camera with. Sticking on the tripod. Now, if it's, if it's going up and down tight, in the back there's, that's it, that'll loosen it for turning right and left. But in back of the uh, swivel, there's a little knob on the tripod that'll loosen the way that goes up and down, turning. Uh, is there one behind? No. So that one. No, not that one. Not that one. Okay, you're right. The one in your left hand now, not too loose. That'll let you turn. No, no. Let's that'll turn. release it so it turns. Yeah. With your handle. Keep your left hand on the hand, your right hand on the handle. That's it. And the handle itself turns to loosen it. Oh, it's a family portrait. It's the goat family. <laughs> Baby goats. Jesse's not in the goat family. Jesse, don't eat the shit. Jesse. <laughs> Is that the little girl you fed? Yeah. Oh, good. And it's a standoff. You're looking good, Dave. You're looking real good. Jesse, stop eating that shit. Ray. <laughs> How do I stop it now? <laughs> Jess. Jess, are you being a good doggy? <laughs> Shiba. Shiba. Look at the goat, look at him. <laughs> Jesse is a laughing stock. <laughs> He's eating her grain. She's shaking her head. Jess, what are you doing? Shh, I'm hiding. I'm hiding. They can't see me. Well, we finally got him to the pond. Major accomplishment here. You can take a goat to the pond, but you can't make her pee. I got work to do. Yeah, I'm gonna just a second. I'm gonna get around. Okay, here you I'll get this back then. There a pond. And the old goats finally find the briar patch. Maybe she'll stay. Well, if you're not going to do it, I'll go get my shoes on. You just stay there and film. Go. I'm going to come. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I just want to get a few shots of this. They're here. You got the shot. I really have so
Okay. Ducks in the water time. Hey, our duckies in the lake. Finally real ducks. Oh, they're happy as can be. Quack, 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 quack. Where are these guys? They're in here somewhere. Right there. Yeah, there they are. Hey, little duckies. Quack, 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 quack. Quack, 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 quack. We'll be all right. You can just be a filling teacher. There's so much here to do. I can't be gone. These are unreasonable hours. Even eight hours a day. By the time you add travel, by the time you get home, get a bite to eat, it's over. You can't do this. I know, right? You got to work part time. Part, very part time. Right. That's well, what I kept saying. One of us has to. Oh, look at that fish. Or some, a tadpole? Tadpoles. <laughs> They're really liking it. Uh -huh. ever, I don't think they've ever, they had a big bathtub at the other place. But they did. This could be the real thing, eh? Pretty out here today, ain't it? Hmm? It's pretty day. Mm. God, there's a little sunshine. I wonder what the goats are up to. I'm going to them around and around the barn they go. They coming? Yeah, they're all over the lot. Siba! Siba!
quack, quack. Hey bear. Bear. There's a bear.
this is the daddy here. He's also uh, the grandfather and uh, possibly the uncle. So it's a uh, little family affair, West Virginia style. Hey, Daddy. Bleh. Aren't you cute? Bleh. Hey, Daddy. Bleh. 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 Hey. Hey, Bleh. Very handsome. Let's see your little baby. There's mama. Mama. Bah. You don't want to nurse very much. Hardly at all. You gotta pin her against the wall and let him drink. Hi mama. Let's get you and your son. Your husband. Your grandson? I don't know. Too many relationships for me to keep track of. Oh, what a cute couple. It's a bear. It's a bear. Little sister over there. Bear. Hey, Jess. Hey, Daddy. Son. It's a bear. Hi, Mama. It's a bear. <coughs> bear. Bear. <coughs> it's a bear. 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 Yeah. 
Ooh, have we here? Ooh. Demu. There. Yeah, Daddy and Son. Shaking, shaking, shaking. Bear. 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 He's uh, just about two weeks and a couple of days old here. About 16 days, born on the uh, uh, 14th of February, 13th. Well, Valentine's Day, baby. Ooh, we got a pussycat here on my feet. Let's see if we can get him on camera. Hey, pussycats! Ooh. A cat and mouse, except it's not a mouse, it's a goat. Bear! Bear! It's a bear! 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 Beehive over there. Bear! It's a bear! 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 It's a bear! 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 Bear. Bear. Hey, a black cat. Blackie, kitty, kitty. Who's a pretty cat? Bear. 
Man. Sit there. The bear. 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 Hey, bear. Come on, Mama, give me a drink, will ya? Here's a happy couple. Oh, family shot.
मैं 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 इस बै Sibé Sibé Jesse Jess Get out of there Sibé Jesse Sibé 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 Bye. Bye. Hey, there's a mask. Bye. Bye. Hi, Mr. Musky. Bye. 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 about 42 after four or five days of frigid winds at 40 miles an hour, 50 gusts, 95 on Mount St. Helens. Man, it's 
is blue and blue and blue. You see a lot of debris down. Some big winds came down, but everything else is in place, and my nice new little trees are still standing. You'll see them here as I pan in a minute, my new fence post. There they are. New trees. Good shape. 14, 15 foot dug firs. Go about three, four foot a year, make a nice wall there. Hopefully we'll be gone. There's that trailer mobile that I'm trying to hide, piece of junk. See how close it is to the house. Everybody that comes in here pulls in the driveway to look at the house, thinking they might want to buy it, nice quiet spot. And then they get out of their car and they just look over here and they go, Holy smokes, what's that? Who lives in that piece of junk? And they start thinking about their privacy and they seem very interested in it more. So I'm going to try and block that thing out with a nice big fence and these trees and keep fighting to get that thing out of here. Land's for sale right now for 70000 Hopefully, when the buys it, will realize that they can't use that as a trailer site. No septic and get out of there. But anyway, hey, I just keep the cat. Where are you? Oh, sorry, Toons. Hey, Toons. Mo, Mo. Sorry, Toons. Little Jesse, too, around here doing some hunting. Hey, Jess. Oh, dancing with the cow. That's Toonses. Oh, man. Go get him. Where's Toons? Where's Toons, Jess? Hey, where's Toons? Go get Toons. Go get him. Go get him. Go get Toons. Ma! 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 Oh, what a lion. Hey, Toons the lion. Hey, Toons. Oh! Trying to dig a hole for a... Hey, what are you doing, Toons? Can you give me a kiss? Give me, uh... That's Nate, Toons. I'm really horny. Get the hell out of my face, dog! I think I'm... I'm kind of prevert. Hmm. Toons was sick for a few days, but he's looking good now, isn't he? He's monster cat. Yeah, that's mate. Come on, Toons. That's mate, you little cat. Oh, get out of here, you kitty porno. Oh, boom, boom. Yeah, take that. Take that, him, king of the hill. Don't let the cat rules all. Yeah, two bumps on a log. Anyway, let's go back to the fence here. So, get out of there, Jess. God, this dog's horny. Get, hey. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hey, hey, get off my leg. All right, sorry. Got that swing. Oh, the hunter returns from the fields. No mice. No mice today, Blackie. He usually gets one. Wow, I need a panther. Jesse, leave those cats alone. None of your business what they're doing. And the cats will have to check out what he's been doing. Hi, Blacks. No luck today? Boom! <laughs> Jesse catches <laughs> again. <laughs> oh, boom! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, everyone hates poor Jesse. Alright, let's go see the trees. Get off my leg, Jesse. Here's a little sweet gray cat.
I'm going to give you a little look winter landscape here in the city. Really different than the summer. Hey, there's somebody in truck. Those hills out there were all covered with snow a few weeks ago, but nothing now. I actually skied down this hill once. It wasn't as fast a ride as I thought. Let's see, I chewed up the grass here where I was moving the trees in. All right, back to the fence. So, these posts, all concreted in, 26 of them. Moving them wheelbarrows full of concrete from the barn out to here, digging the holes, pulling the rock. Gosh, what, what a brute I was. Jesse, get off my leg, buddy. Hey, 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 get off my leg. Hey, get off my leg. Crazy dog, got it. All right, anyway, here's one of my helpers now on the scaffold. So, take a look here, see what we got. Got all these posts in. And that's where the fence will be. Put some wire up to keep the critters out for now and then this sail falls through. And take that old wooden fence we put up last summer, that one there, and start extending it to the corner and all the way out in here. Plus we don't want to see that piece of junk there. That's the good side. The other side is like a can with its metal ripped back. Just flapping in the breeze and plastic and pieces of insulation there just laying around in the junk pile tough to sell a house when people see that but anyway come see the trees here ain't they pretty look at them 14 footers show you what the holes they went into look like Each one about three foot deep, four foot wide. Whole pickup full of dirt out of each one, shovel by shovel. The root ball underneath those trees weighed about 300 pounds. Monsters. Hmm. So we put the dirt out of there, threw it in the pickup, drove the pickup up in here and then threw the dirt down. All well, this was a gully, if you remember this summer. Now it's all filled in. Still filling more in here, so be a nice extension of the front yard. All the way over by the trees where I had the hammock. All of that was about 12 inches, 18 inches down before I filled it all in, right where that black cat's walking. All that's fill dirt from the holes. See some of the rocks I moved. Look at that sucker. Yep. Then there were hundreds of these guys like that digging those out. Man, see me, I'm a brute Hercules, they call me around here now. Look at all those rocks. And that was all one of the bottom beds this summer. They had her garlics and tomatoes down in here. That's where you guys were picking tomatoes. So I had to take that bed out and make room for the trees. So we still got this bed and that one, but they all need to be put back right. So let's walk down the tree line here. Look at them, ain't they pretty? They were for Christmas trees, but they went, got too big. So that's why they're so full down below. They were prone to be people's houses for Christmas, but they went to seed. They were really thick down below, and that's good because in a few years, all these limbs will grow out and fill in these open spaces. 
In five years from now, these trees will add about 10 foot, and they'll be all completely entwined in one wall of evergreen. 10 foot apart right now. Hey, trees, how you doing? I talked to my little trees here. I was worried about the winds, but boy, they've made it through the last week. They had 50, 60 mile an hour gusts coming in from the east, and they're going to make it. Some of them are a little tilted, but I'll fix that up when the soil warms up. Everything's too frozen right now. They're dormant. The roots don't take hold till the spring anyway. And that's when we'll know, late spring, early summer, whether or not they've made it. They'll uh, look okay now, but if they've made it, they'll put on some new green in the late spring, early summer, or they'll start browning out if they have trouble, but they're not going to have any trouble. They're in good shape. So, walking down the bed, Ray still got some onions in there. Jesse. So you can see that once you're down here on the slope, you know, this fence, you see where the posts are in relation to that trailer site. That fence, 10 foot fence in here, will block that sucker out. And also, in the distance, in the summer you don't see that site down there that we used to walk to because all those leaves will fill in. But that is the house site, we hope, for whoever buys that place where they should put their house. And then most of the time, those leaves fill in, we won't see them or hear them. And certainly with this fence here, the size of these posts and the trees filling in, that'll all be blocked. So that's the story to tell people interested in buying, but worried. And it won't be long before they'll be nice and private here. And we'll be out another three, four thousand dollars, but what the hell, it's only money. And coming around, ooh, there's a good rock pile. That all came out of one hole here, look at that. one of the holes that I still have open. thought I was going to get another tree, but now that I'm putting the fence up, I don't think I will. Now this hole I've been filling in with some of the stuff I pulled out of the fence post holes. So I've thrown it back in the hole. So this hole was actually about another foot or so deeper. But you can see how wide it is. I had to take down a few trees in here for the fence, so those are the logs from the tree I cut. But damn, that's a crater, right? Looks like a meteor hit the earth, isn't it? Hard to get in the right angle here. There's the cat in relation to it. These are big holes, let me tell you. I'm gonna stand in there had that all the way dug down deep, I'd be up to my waist throwing the dirt out of there. And I did that for 13 holes. And then some deep hole. The house in relation to these trees, our house. Here's the two alders I cut. Plus, remember this grove up here? I cut a few in there and made that nice. I think I might take those two on the end out also that are leaning. Make that a nice little grove of trees. And then siding down where this fence will go. There's some trees. You can put them in real straight, but they'll do the job. And then this is the, uh, the wire I'm putting on right now. Come up five feet. Just keep the chickens and ducks and coyotes separate. So you come around here, 
put the rails on, the, all I got to do is add the cedar boards if we don't sell the place right away. That won't be too hard. Get everything ready now. There's that truck, remember? Hiding behind the fence. Some boards. Working away every day. A little bit at a time. In the wet, freezing cold, wind, doesn't matter. I'm like the mailman. Nothing stops me from my appointed rounds of the posts. One thing I've become is a good fence maker. Camper top there. Place looks different in the winter, doesn't it? Grass is all gone. Dog, get off my leg. You bad dog, Jesse. You bad dog. Bad dog. You need a girl dog. Yeah. And the famous John Fishman, Bob Fishman, David Fishman Memorial Fence. There's where uh, Bob got hit with the uh, flying 2x4 this summer. Mangled his hand pretty good. He's got some good stories to tell about how he wounded by his son in the line of battle. Chicken yard here, all the pieces of pumpkin. We like that stuff pecking out the seeds. We let them run out right now, but like I said, I'm really worried about the coyotes. There's my picket fence I put up. Looks kind of nice. Got to continue it around the house here. Here's some chickens. So. That's what I've been up to. About a month and a half's work now, but it's starting to look good. And right now, the last piece is, uh, I'll show you, come under the string I just put across here. What I'm doing now is going to run a set a post down this way, you can pick out the line there. And it's going to be post right in here, going down to just to the right of that last tree. And that'll be another pen for the chickens down in here, right in here where my truck is, all this grass. It'll be for the chickens. I'll just have that done in another day or so, just like this little light wire mesh and these little posts. So I can let the chickens go down in here on the grass and then this area that they've just pecked completely barren, not a blade of grass, that was all grass at one time, we're going to be able to seed that back in and keep them out of here. Just give them a little passageway in the back by the big fence, a little passageway they can go through down this way and then into the grassy spot down all the way to the bottom. And I uh, got the wire up about five feet. That'll keep them in for now. So we'll see what happens and decide if I'm going to put the cedar boards up or if we sell. Let the new guy do it. So that'll all be for the chickens, two pens. This one will be reseeded and let it grow back in nice grass in the spring. And uh, that's what I'll do. I thought I would do that today, but some people came back to look at the house. I think we're going to have a second offer here. This woman just sold a big piece of property to developers in Portland. She's got a lot of cash. She will have a lot of cash, but right now it's just coming in bits and drabs. And the developer, she wants us to put a lock on the place at about 185 till July when she has all her money. She says she'll put down a huge deposit. The realtor's calling back tonight to let me know what that is. So we'll see. We have till the end of February for this other guy to sell his house, come up with his money. So maybe things are starting to look up here. Hey, there's a compost chicken. Hey, that was one of the barred rocks. New ones. That was a baby this summer, little one. They're pretty big now. Here's one of the new roosters looking at me. Another one of their roosters back there. 
But the white rooster still is the king and he chases these other guys. You don't let them get to the hens as much. They gotta sneak around. He gives them a what for. There's the other. So we got two black roosters. There's one. And there's the other. And we got a beautiful red rooster. And then the old white guy that the attack rooster that devoured children this summer. Almost ate Justin up, right? Jason too. And there's the white guy in the front yard where Ray's flowers used to be. No more flowers in the winter. Everything down to bare bones. There's the white guy, attack rooster. And he's got his hands, most of them, and he right now be chasing the other two, but he's got the little fence in between. He's got to run all the way around the fence. He's too lazy. Let's see if I find the red rooster. This is a pretty chicken right here. This is one of the new ones. Isn't she pretty? She's digging around the compost too, getting the worms. Ooh, do the backup step. Put that to music. There's the red rooster. Isn't he pretty? Jess, Jess. You can't mate that chicken. Just leave him alone. Look at him. Look at him. Last night I had to chase him. He wouldn't go in the barn. I caught him. Boy, he was mad. He was thrailing and thrashing and screaming and pecking. And I can catch them hens pretty easy, but you get a hold of a rooster and you, you got yourself a tussle. <laughs>